Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm here today to film a chatty video with you guys and I know I'm in a different setting. I'm going to be trying to be really good at filming in different places in my apartment just to spice things up a little bit and so that you guys can um, be a little bit nosy and know sort of what everything's starting to look like and everything like that. And today I also really needed a place where I could put all my things because if you can see by the title of this video, which I'm sure you did because you clicked on it, this is my current designer handbag and small leather good collection video now big disclaimer i have been procuring these things now for a few years this isn't something that i've like bought all of a sudden some of them were birthday gifts or gifts in general and other than that i have just kind of saved up as i have saved up for other things that i've made videos for in the past you guys know i'm a big saver even though i probably don't look like i am i am I'm good at saving. If I ever want a handbag, I really, really, really do research and think about them. It's rare and there's probably like one handbag in here that has been an impulse buy. But the main reason I wanted to do this video is because I feel like my handbags aren't the type of handbags that everyone has and I like my collection because I feel like, I think it's quite varied and I think there's also some things in here that you guys haven't seen or you're not aware that I might have. So what I'm going to start off with is handbags, then I'm probably going to do my smaller handbags, clutches and then my small leather goods. I'm going to start off with the first ever handbag that I got and this was a gift. So like I said, I will be telling you guys what were gifts and what were not gifts. And this is one of those handbags that I, I'm not sure on how to store. So if any of you guys have this handbag and you know how the best to store it, let me know. But this was my 21st birthday present from my mum and it was just like, when I got this handbag, I was just the happiest girl in the world. I love Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen and Balenciaga is one of my favourite handbag brands and I have quite a few Balenciaga pieces. I'm going to be showing you guys, I have some like shopper bags of some of the bags and I also have the boxes because I do like to keep those. Even still, like to this day, when I take out this handbag, I'm still utterly obsessed with it. I'm gonna try and do modeling shots of each bag as well, so that this video is super informative. But, ta-da! This is, this is the Balenciaga, I think it's called the Work Bag. I am not quite sure, but you guys, I've had this bag now, I was 21, I'm now 24, so for three years, it doesn't feel like that long, it feels like longer. But this bag has just got smushier and smushier and smushier as the years have gone on. And that is exactly what Balenciaga is known for. Balenciaga is known for its gorgeous buttery leather. This bag honestly has worn so well considering how much I have used it. It is big. I mean, you guys can see it's a big bag. And that's kind of what I loved about these classic, more classic um, Balenciaga bags. These are like the sort of style that Balenciaga is really well known for is I like the big slouchy style, with the big buckles. And at the time I was obsessed with silver hardware. I'm more of a gold hardware girl now, which is so weird to say, but I am. Um, um, but at the time I loved my silver, I still like it, but I'm more of a gold hardware kind of gal now. And it's just gorgeous. The back of it just looks like so. The studs at the bottom just protect the bag when you put it on. And if you guys can see, it's in pristine condition. And it has that worn vibe that I'm obsessed with. It's just one big black hole. And the one thing that I sort of struggle with this bag, and the one thing that I kind of wish I'd got another version of, is that this doesn't have a um, handle. So this doesn't have a sort of bit where I can put a chain. So what I was thinking, which I don't know if what you guys think, I might actually invest in one of the HRH chains and put it on here and just pop it on here so then I can like use it more as um, a chain bag. So I don't know if Alex is watching this video, but Alex, if you recommend any of the of your chains to go with this, let me know which one you would recommend. Um, because it is quite a big bag, but the one thing that I find hard is sort of, it's not one of those bags that you can put on your shoulder very comfortably. So you guys can see like I look like a bit of a D-I-C-K. The one way that I do wear this bag is on the crook of my arm. Like I said, very like Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen. And this bag is perfect. Like I know this one seems weird, but I wear this a lot to like meetings when I've gone for work meet, like work um, events and stuff and meetings and also for like overnight stays because it's huge. Now moving on to the first ever bag, I think that I bought myself. And this was just like, when I saw this bag at the time, I just honestly could never get it out of my mind. And this bag is still, I think, like a bag that loads of people are still buying nowadays. So that's why I think I made quite a good purchase. I'm not sure if the price has gone up. I will leave prices of each of these bags. Like I said, I'm not bragging or anything in the down bar and I'll also link them down below. But this bag was just like, 
my be all and end all i saved so hard for this bag i remember i had a saturday job and i was working so hard to put the money away for this bag and it is um from saint laurent which saint laurent is just one of them or ysl is one of my favorite handbag brands just like balenciaga and again i was going through a silver hardware uh, phase at the moment with that bag when i bought this and this is just the um i was storing it so i'll just show you guys this is the Saint Laurent Sac de Jeu and oh my god, just can everyone just appreciate this beauty? Like this is in the, oh see it's been so long. I honestly don't have a clue the sizing and stuff like that but I will leave everything down below or um, I'll write it here if I can remember. But this bag was just my everything at the time. Now what drew me to this bag? A I love the shape and I do actually, I mean, this is a complete different, although it's black and silver, technically hardware, look at the contrast compared to the Balenciaga. This is so structured. I love how like boss bitch bag this is. I feel like it's such a like classy lady bag, but it still has an edge, which I love. And that is really what I think is kind of like my aesthetic. And I think that hasn't really changed. Um, but I love the structure on this. I got it in like a grained, I don't know if you guys can tell, in like a grained leather. So what that means is it's so durable. They also do it in like lamb skin. And when I tried it in store, I was just like, look, let me just tell you now, especially at the time I was like, I'm gonna wreck this. Um, but the reason that it is in that leather, it just stayed looking absolutely pristine. It definitely has the Saint Laurent edge, which I got drawn to. And they also have this in a million different colors. The khaki one is gorgeous. There's a burgundy one, grays. Look, we could go on and on. If I have any handbag reviews on each of these bags or like, bag reveals or bags where these bags have been shown i'll link the videos down below i'm going to be trying and be good at that this was the thing that i loved about this bag it's just it's so minimal like if you're not into designer handbags you would probably never know that this is a designer handbag it's not embezzled with loads of stuff on it like and especially for that time where i bought this that was my aesthetic you can wear it with these poppers open but i think it looks a bit odd and then the inside has a middle compartment and then two separate like places that you can put your stuff into i think i have a handbag review video on this and then the second thing that i love about this bag and this is probably another thing that if i got one of alex's chains i could use for is it has a strap so unlike my balenciaga this bag is really heavy like this bag is like a back breaking bag like it's super duper heavy i'm i'm more than happy to deal with it but the good thing about it is that this strap becomes an absolute lifesaver because when it does get heavy you can just put it across you and it just saves you like still obsessed with this bag i would still buy it i would love to get one in a mini um because i just think they're so cute but i'm absolutely in love with this size it is one of my favorite bags on another handbag this wasn't an impulse buy but now looking at it logically i could have made a smarter choice because i did buy this in smooth leather in a color which is just like it's a hard thing and it's it's one of those things that has kind of made me think about my future purchases in color bags and in leather styles my mum gave me some money towards it and then i also put more money towards it and it is another balenciaga i did tell you guys i love balenciaga bags and i did actually order this online and when i first actually went to get this bag i actually wanted it in the mini size but the mini went out of stock and now looking at it i do kind of wish i got the mini because i think i would have used it more but i am glad i have a handbag in this style and i will get on to why so like I said, Balenciaga obsessed, but look at this color bag, you guys. I have a picture of this bag on my Instagram as well because I was lusting after it so bad. Oh my God, like even with my outfit now, like this bag is absolutely stunning. It's like a burgundy purpley um, color. It's definitely got a lot of purple in it. And it's the Balenciaga, is this the city? Oh God, honest to God, I can't remember. But as you guys can see, this is super smushy. Like, look at the smush on this on this bag. Um, and one of the things that I have found about this bag is it is quite hard to store. So what I did end up doing is I did buy it online um, and I did keep all the stuffing. I've had this now for a year and a bit. I got this not last Christmas, the Christmas before. Oh, it's coming up for I've come coming up to two years nearly. Um, and the only thing that I would say is look at the mush on that. You would want to kind of try and keep it into its shape. I just hang it up somewhere. So I just hang it up on like a door handle or whatever um, to try and keep its shape. Only thing about it that I have had to deal with, and this I've had with like none of my bags, is like this bag definitely has shown some wear and tear. Um, I obviously because of the leather, 
um, and the colour. So if I come close, you might be able to see just here there is some wear from somewhere where I must have scratched it. Um, I do wear this bag a lot for like when I've gone for work things or when I used to study and I had to go to conferences and stuff. I used to take this and I used to use the underground and it's probably just from where someone has scratched along my bag. Um, so I have another one here for example um, it, and here as well actually and probably where it's caught on my jeans. So it, because it's a colour and because of the type of leather it is, I don't mind but it's not, it doesn't make me completely happy but it's just something I'm going to deal with and it is one of those bags that I am going to just use as a hold all. This is kind of like my version of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull or a Goyard but I really, I do really want a Goyard. Goyard? I can't, I can't pronounce it properly but a Goyard bag um, but for now this is my version and I like the fact that it's one of those bags that not everyone would have. As you can see the sides are really big and you can open them up. I never ever ever do, I just kind of leave them closed. Um, I would take the stuffing out and I'll show it to you guys um, when I'm doing like split screen but I am obsessed with this handbag. The bottom of it has actually done really well and what I think I would have recommended if I was like Balenciaga's uh, creative director is to put studding on the bottom because it's a hold all. It would have just meant that the bottom stays pristine but weirdly enough the bottom of mine is, it's just the sides. So yeah, what I would say probably with these is be careful of transfer. I have got none, thank God, um, from colour or from jeans or anything, but that's what um, this bag has kind of taught me. It has taught me that be careful of your leathers and be careful of coloured bags. Originally, I actually wanted a boy bag. I went into Chanel, I looked at the boy bag, I tried it on and I did not like it on me. I just kind of was like... I don't know, I love them on other people, but it just didn't look right on me. But one of the bags that I really did love at the time was the, I'm just putting my camellia back on to the bag, um, was the, I've forgotten the wok, the uh, wallet on a chain. This is my one and only Chanel piece. I don't have any other Chanel in my collection, although I would love to get some more Chanel in my collection. I, it is really, really expensive. Um, the box just looks like this. I have put the camellia back onto it and I, do love this bag i really do i don't use it that often i use it more for like dates or dinners or when i go out um, as opposed to daytime but um i do still love it it came with like the chanel ribbon all around it which i've kept just because it's nice i don't find i use it like i don't find i reach for it as much i am more of a big bag girl I don't know what that says about me, but I am. And um, yeah, so this is just a Chanel box. I do kind of wish I got it in the gold hardware, but at the time I still kind of had like a silver hardware vibe and I just thought it was more of a casual feel to it. I don't remember the exact cost of this, but for Chanel it wasn't too, too bad. I think this bag was in the region of the 1250s, but I could be wrong and there probably has been a price increase still then because this I got now a year and a bit ago. So this is the Chanel Wok, so wallet on a chain. So technically it's more like a small leather good as opposed to a bag, but I think they do classify it as a bag. Um, it's just got the classic quilting. I did try some on, I think, with the... There's like some with like pattern quilting. So like I really wanted one with a flower pattern, but I ended up going with the caviar leather, which again, similar to my Saint Laurent, I wanted a bag that is gonna be wearable. I wanted my first Chanel bag to be hard wearing. I didn't wanna go for lambskin, although I love lambskin, just because I don't feel like I'm at that age yet where this was gonna be a bag that I would take on nights out. And I know like you leave your bag on the tables, you know, someone drops it, someone like, I don't know, scrapes it. I just, I wouldn't be very happy. Although I'm not a materialistic person, it obviously it would, it would piss me off. It has a long strap um, and I did get mine, like I said, in a silver hardware with a classic Chanel chain. You open it up, um, it has the Chanel logo on the top um, with a zip, which I never use this compartment. And it has a compartment here, which I do use. And then I have a cloth inside because I lost the stuffing for some reason. So I've just stuffed it because I find if I don't stuff it, this bit starts to crease. And I do want to try and keep the bag as pristine as possible. So if I take that cloth out, it's got the classic Chanel maroon interior um, with a made in Italy sign. And it's got some card holds card inserts as well in there so the good thing about this is that when i do take this out sometimes i don't even take a purse and then the back it's just got the little chanel pocket and i love this i love wearing this on nights out because what i do is i just sort of scrunch up the chain and i kind of hold it like that and then when i want to dance i just sort of put it around me and i normally wear this bag cross body that's how i primarily like to wear it i'm about five foot six and one meter 69 in reference and 
um, it does fit me really well cross body. I think for a first Chanel piece, especially if you don't want to spend like £4,000 on a bag, it's really good to go for. And it also comes with the um, like dust bag type situation. I have started buying most of my things from Harrods. I sort of just used to buy like willy nilly and now looking into it, like the reason I buy from Harrods is because they have the points reward system. And I found that at the end of the year, I had like £100 worth of points to spend um, and I bought myself a perfume. So it's just something else if to bear in mind, if you're a Harrods reward customer, you are going to get your points. I had this bag in mind, but I was like, mm, I don't know. Like, guys, I tried this bag on. It was love at first sight. It was just, because it's edgy, I, I do think it's timeless in a weird way and it's quirky and I'll show you guys why I think it was quirky. It's from one of my favourite brands and that's Fendi and oh my god like I still have to keep the bag like as well. I just store it in here because I have some accessories that go with it and I'm obsessed with this bag like I yeah I love this handbag. I don't feel like I wear it enough and I feel like when I first got it I wore it a lot in the summer but I'm definitely going to be type trying to bring it out more because it is definitely one of my favourite handbags. So I'm sure you guys have seen this bag before, but it is um, my, oh God, now I'm forgetting the names of everything. It's the Fendi, it's the Fendi Peekaboo, if I'm not mistaken. I think I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's Peekaboo. And this is her, and I love her so much. Oh, I love it. And this is the Fendi Peekaboo. I think this is in the medium size, again, if I'm not mistaken. And just look at her. I just can't. I can't deal with this handbag. Um, the reason I got this handbag and I didn't, like I said, invest more in a Chanel piece is just because at the time I just felt it went with my aesthetic. I loved like the look of it, the way people were styling it, the accessories, which I'll go onto it in a second. And what I love about this bag is just the versatility and just how ladylike. Again, I think it's like a boss bitch bag. Like, I don't know if that's my phrase at the moment, but I love it. And probably the other thing is, you guys probably starting to notice, is it's got that kind of like Hermes Kelly vibe to it, which I, I do, like I said, I love Hermes, but it's just, it's not in my price bracket at all. But it just means that it's that kind of vibe, like it's still got a classic feel to it, but Fendi is a very edgy brand and this bag is very edgy. I feel like 2016 was like the year of like accessorizing your bags. And this is when I just fell in love with this bag. So the way I like to wear it is completely stuffed right now. So I've got like the stuffing inside it because this definitely needs to keep its shape. But the way I like to keep to wear it is I open up the sides. So it had like these little sides that are closed and I smush it down and I wear it kind of like this, like open. And then the other side I wear closed. And this is normally the side that I keep all my things that I wouldn't want anyone to nick. And then the front side is where I sort of just let it all hang out. I think it's one of those bags that if you're not into your designer things, you're not gonna know this is a designer handbag unless you know designer and you know Fendi and you know the brand. It's it's not got Fendi like FFF written all over it. And you're only really gonna know what it is if you know what it is, which I like. I like to do that in my handbag. This is one of those ones where I'm like, oh, you wouldn't really know. And like I said, what I love about it is what you can do with it. So. It's got that one compartment and then the back compartment is the exact same. It's just that it has a zipper inside it. And I've shown you guys the dust bag. This is one of those bags that you do hold on the crook of your arm. Um, and that is the prime, prime way that I sort of like to try and hold it when I don't have the accessory that I bought to go with it. But it does come just generically with its own strap. So this just straps onto these bits of the bag and you would have it strapped like that and then you've got a handle which is absolutely perfect. It's just plain black, it's gorgeous and the bag itself does come in different shapes, different styles. I know there's like multicolored ones, there's different leathers, there's like pythons and stuff which are just so expensive um, and they're amazing. But like I said, I think 2016 was the year of the accessorizing so I know you can get the Fendi peekaboos in like really miniature sizes and you can hang them to um, the front of the bag and it was just all like about the accessories and when I went to buy this bag I caved and when I mean caved like I caved and I bought an accessory to go with it so um, I'm sure you guys have seen this but this is the Fendi strap and guys I wore this strap to death like these are ridiculously expensive, like redonkulously expensive for what it is. I'm like, I don't even remember how much I paid for it now, but I got it in the pink 
and the green colorway and look at this green i think it's i think i'm sort of overthinking this now whereas before i didn't used to overthink it i used to just wear it with everything i need to stop overthinking it and i need to start wearing it again strap just makes the bag like honest to god i'm gonna just strap it on now so you guys can see but it's also the real cool thing is it really just makes the bag like a bit more casual and that was sort of my vibes at the time it was just like oh like really cash but again you're only gonna know what it is if you know and it's such a comfortable strap because you guys can see it's quite thick so it just sits on your shoulder like really comfortably so love the way it looks when you've got the bag just like that love if i'm really fidgety is because i'm sitting um like cross-legged throughout this video and it's it's a long one and my legs are literally killing this next bag that like i said some of these aren't in order but i want to do my handbags first but this is the next handbag um this is my last handbag purchase that i've made and i think this is the last designer purchase that i've made actually this was a little bit um impulsive to say the least so this was one of those ones where i was like i kind of just want to like i was we were me and selena basically went to harrods and she wanted to look at makeup and then i was like oh i sort of i've heard about this bag i really like it i, I bet they won't have it i've heard that it's absolutely out of stock everywhere we went we saw we conquered we both came out with the same bag really bad i've literally me and my friends are the worst 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 people to go like handbag shopping with because we always come out with something and it's from louis vuitton this was my first ever louis vuitton piece i have nothing else louis vuitton at all but it definitely by the way guys the lighting's changing in and out because i have loads of light in my room like natural light and um it's like the lights coming in and out so i apologize and this was just i saw it i tried it i couldn't leave without it and it's um a louis vuitton and it's the palm springs backpack i'm sure you guys have seen this in my videos a gajillion times now because i love wearing this bag but this is the dust bag that it comes with um i i, I actually love the new louis vuitton packaging with the orange like how stunning weirdly enough like orange and navy so with the extra strap which i'll get onto in a second i don't normally store it like this because it's one of my most used handbags so i normally just keep it out but this is it and i just love it so this is my palm springs backpack it is like my little love i absolutely love this handbag i know when i first showed it and i'll leave the vlog i think where i showed this handbag and people were like it's not timeless like you know out of all the louis vuitton pieces you could have chosen is this really a good choice but you guys out like cost per wear i think i've probably got down to like a tenner on this bag like honest to god i've worn this handbag so so much so what it is is a canvas normal louis vuitton canvas bag and the only bits that are leather i know are the black pieces so only the black strap and stuff are leather what i love about this bag is the versatility and that's kind of what drew me to it so what this bag is actually meant to be is exactly like the name suggests is a backpack so can you guys see it's got like four bits around here and you would strap both straps around and i will show it to you guys um on the bag and you would wear it as a little um backpack but i love to wear this bag crossbody with just this has started coming off i think it's just a little bit that comes with the that holds the strap in place but i love to wear this bag crossbody and it's just the way i like to wear it i'm sure like lots of people wear it as a backpack um nina actually has this backpack this backpack as well and she, we went out together the other day and she was wearing it as a backpack and it looked so cute and i think selena wears hers as a backpack but it's just the cutest thing i did actually try it on in the reverse monogram so they actually had a style which was like a more caramel monogram print um and i do love that one but i sort of just went with a classic in the end but i love it and i'm so glad that i got it like i can't put into words how glad because i was going to return it and i didn't and i held it onto my guts and i know that i'm a very decisive person and i sticked with it and i still to this day love this bag i love wearing this bag with things that clash with it so for example i would totally wear it with this check print um, I love that kind of look and it's just my vibes. This is a brand that I actually have two bags from and it's not a brand that is like, the price range on this bag is a bit more stomachable I would say and the brand is Mansa Gabriel. I think the loads of the stuff is made in Italy, I could be wrong. But this basically, the brand was really big on their bucket bags. I don't personally have any of their bucket bags. I have like different styles, but um, that is primarily what they're famous for. I got this bag 
I went to New York and I got it essentially to wear to New York because I wanted a cute like crossbody bag and it's just a really simple like what would you call this like I'm just gonna call it crossbody bag because I don't know what else to call it and it's in a black leather and as I'm sure you guys have seen I either write like quite a wacky bag like with wacky accessories but I don't love embezzlement on everything like it has to the bag has to be very particular so this bag is very plain and it just has Mansa Gabriel written on the front in gold this was when I was starting to get into the gold hardware a bit more fabric inside I've got tissues and money in there but it's just a fabric inside and it's cute it's just got a like a magnetic fastening do I think this is like really 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 worth it probably not and I'll probably get on to why um in the other Mansa Gabriel bag that I have but it is cute and I actually do get a lot of wear out of it but if you are someone who's into like your minimal who's into your leathers and stuff then it's a cute one to go for and I actually I do like the brand the only thing with these is they scratch but it is kind of meant to be the aesthetic of the bag the brand openly says like okay your bag's gonna scratch you need to take care of it and I need to go and look out how to sort of care for these bags so if you guys have Mansa Gabriel and you know of like a good place that says how to take care of it or any tips you can give me please do but you can probably see when I shine the light on it like that that there is some scratching on it but to look at it from far, I like it, the fact that it looks a bit more worn um, and it's just kind of like the vibes that you go with with the bag. Please don't judge me, um, I have wrecked this bag. I've had this bag for, oh, I did my pre-reg, so a year ago, two years ago, two years ago, two and a half years ago probably. It is from that brand that I was talking about, Mansa Gabriel. And at the time, the Saint Laurent totes had come in stock as well as these, but I really loved the Mansa Gabriel vibes. It was all like worn and kind of cool and it's got the red interior that I'm going to show you where well, you can see and I was obsessed with this bag so I ended up getting it but it has worn quite badly like I do definitely need to take more care of it but I've chucked this into stores I've chucked this at the back of doors people have opened the door and like whacked it so it's definitely worn but I do like them if you like that kind of look on a bag which I don't actually really mind I do I do need to take care of it and I will actually go into looking at to how to, to take, take care of these but um, I don't mind the way it looks and I like the fact that it's got a bit of story to it like I did my whole student time my pre-reg in this and it's like bad memories but memories nonetheless and this is just a Mansa Gabriel tote with a lot of my bags it's just got a simple Mansa Gabriel sign on it it's just it's got scratches all over it you guys can probably tell um, it's scratched all over. What I love about it is the inside is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous red colour. It's like a deep, deep red. Also, including like I've got um, pen marks and stuff in it from work. I've got all my work stuff in it. It comes with one of those like little pouches, like even the Louis Vuitton Neverfalls and stuff come in. Um, and this also has Mansa Gabriel written on it there. And I just keep like lady products in there. And it's just a really plain, simple bag. Again, you probably wouldn't know this was designer unless you knew about Mansa Gabriel. But it does, I wouldn't say, if you're very like finicky, which I'm, I, to be honest, I like my material things, but I'm not very materialistic. And this is kind of the vibes of the bag. But if you're someone who likes your things pristine, do not go for this bag. Like, you could be the most careful person and you will still wreck this bag. Probably not to the extent that I have, but you will still wreck it. And I don't know, like I said, if you can see, this got loads of scratch marks on it, but I don't know, it, it still adds to it. It's great for travel. I've used this so much for like chucking so much stuff in, all my work stuff, and I just kind of wish I didn't get pen marks inside it. That's the only thing I'm angry about. Now we move on to another Saint Laurent bag. I have quite a lot of YSL stuff. I do really like my YSL and um, I just love their aesthetic. It's just, I really, really do. So this was one of those bags that was heavily influenced by the blogger community. And I love this bag. I just think it's really cute and I do think it's very timeless just because of you'll see. And this is the YSL, very famously named blogger bag. Look at how, like, would you even consider this a bag? So it comes in this box and it does have the dust bag with it. And I actually got this from oh, farfetch.com. They were having a sale and I did get it discounted. I don't think I would have paid full price for it. And it's probably one of my only bags that has like an, like a big logo on it. But for what it is, like it's so cute. It has a really cute tassel. And if you are just getting into designer handbags, this is around, I don't know how much it retails for now, but it's around the 600 pound mark. I know what you're saying. Like it's, look, it's like, it's even smaller probably than my face. But it's so cute. I wear this so much, especially on nights out. This is like 
my little go-to night out bag like even with my outfit now it's just really sweet it's really playful i love the tassel um so you just open it up i don't stuff this or anything i know i probably should it does have card compartments in it so you don't actually have to bring out a wallet which is good and there is a little compartment at the back which i just have a fiver in this is always like my little cloakroom money like i know that sounds really funny but just go and pick your stuff in the cloakroom other good thing about it is it comes in so many colors textures like different things like patterns and i am obsessed with this so i'll definitely link down below and if you are getting into your handbags and you want to sort of get into your brands i think that's a really good one to start with we come on to clutches and i have three like what i would call clutch clutch clutches to show you guys my room is now a tip the first one that i'm obsessed with this was a birthday present and i got this for my i want to say 23rd birthday maybe i think so i think it was my 23rd or 22nd birthday no it was my 22nd birthday ignore me it was my 22nd birthday and my mum got me this and it's another ysl clutch but this is one of the, their YSL bags or St. Laurent bags that was out before they started the name change with YSL. So YSL used to be called YSL and now it's called St. Laurent. I know, I don't, don't ask me. And it's a really simple St. Laurent YSL, whatever, potato, potato clutch with the YSL logo on it. What leather would I say this is? It's like a grained leather, but it has a shine to it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but it definitely does have some kind of shine to it. But it is grained, so what that means is I've worn this on nights out God knows how many times. It has fallen, it's had drinks spilt on it. I know, it's really bad. But considering it's got some marks on it, but these are just makeup and um, foundation handprint marks, which happens when you touch your face when you're drunk and then you pop your hand on your bag. And... Um, it has worn like it's worn really well considering how much i've beaten it up and i just have some contact lenses some cash which i seem to have cash in all of my going out bags and i even have some um dry shampoo in this one um and i do just keep the authenticity stuff inside and like i said i did buy this from vista village which is an outlet shop here in the uk and um i think it retailed for a about 400 pounds which considering the new ysl clutches prices this is this was quite a steal for what it was and like i said considering cost per wear like i've worn it to death this i actually got sent and this was when i was doing some work with a brand called list they've got loads of like designer and high street things on their website you guys must have seen it i've got loads of hauls on it and I was given some money to spend on the site and I chose this and this is my one and only Victoria Beckham piece and I really love this clutch. I think it's so gorgeous and I definitely want to be looking into some more Victoria. I haven't even taken, I've worn this and I haven't even taken the plastic off the little. And look at how gorgeous this print is. Like I, I love like oranges and greens anyway and um, it's just got sim very simply so again you wouldn't know this is Victoria Beckham unless you sort of really like went and like looked and it's just got Victoria Beckham written on there and what's cool about it is that the back is a different print so this must have been one of her collections I don't know when don't ask me I have not got a clue I just got it because I liked it this is the back of it the back is not as like favoritable of mine as the, the front I love this front um, print but it's still really nice and it's a huge as you guys can see envelope style clutch which is perfect like i said for nights out and i like to wear this with things that you wouldn't expect and inside it's just a big dark hole and like i said it's just perfect perfect for nights out and the hardware on the zipper does say victoria beckham on it as well this is a brand that i really like and this is um if you, again you're trying to get into i don't know if i would call this designer i would almost call this luxury high street pricing wise and this is a brand called comme de garçon and well, I guess they kind of are designer, but their price price point is good. And this is just what the box looks like. I got this from, if I'm not mistaken, Netta Porter. I do really like Netta Porter as well. But like I said, I am trying to buy my things from Harrods now because I do think it's just more cost. Like it's, it's almost like when you buy things from Boots and you get the points, it's the same sort of thing. And this is a Comme de Garçon clutch. I'm not even going to lie, I've worn this once. I bought this to wear um, for New Year's. Not this year, I think the year before. Again, my years are just all jumbled up into one. Honestly, I can't even remember what year I did what. And they do this the most famously in black. So that's probably their most favorite. But I really liked this like off cream. It's because it's got a bit of gray in it. It's a bit more cool. It's not really like woe tan in your face. But considering um, I was a little bit drunk that night, it's not got too much wear on it. The inside is like a 
a suede leather effect inside. It's not huge, I mean you guys, you guys can see, but it's cute just like as a handheld clutch and I do probably need to wear it more. Bista Village is really good for its small leather goods and clutches. I've never bought a handbag from Bista um, because I think it's one of those places you can't go into thinking you're going to get something. You kind of go, you see something, if you like it, you get it. So I got myself something. This is my only one and only Celine piece. And this is the bag that it came with. And it's got, a, considering like what it was for, the box is humongous. This is the box. I don't even know why I'm keeping this, to be honest. I should probably just chuck it out. And what I got was this. And I love this. And I keep it in my work bag. And it's a Celine makeup bag. What I like to use this is as like a catch-all. I loved this. I, now looking at it, I almost wish I got it in a colour. But because it goes in my bags, I'd just be scared that I get pen and stuff like that on it. So I ended up going with a black. And it's that kind of grainy material leather that I, my sac de jeu comes in. And considering I've had this now for two and a half years maybe maybe even three years it's held up so nice it's just got Celine written on the little um tag here so again it's not like scream in your face and what I have in here is just lady products um hand sanitizer so this is my work essentials some change uh, concealer hand cream um contact lenses this is because that's a big thing toothpick um stuff like that that I think are like work essentials that I use for work and yeah it's just really really cute do not ask me how much this was I couldn't tell you for the life of me this item I don't know where I've put the box for so I have to go on a bit of a hunt but again I got given this from list and I'm thinking of selling it just because I don't use it and I'm just kind of trying to be good and keep things that I'm only going to use and it's a really cute Saint Laurent purse I don't know again how much this retailed for because I had credits to use on the store it comes with a back pocket and the reason I got this in a colour was just because as you guys have probably been able to tell I don't have a lot of coloured things but it's in that kind of like caviar style leather almost like the Chanel wok um, in a red and gold you open it up and it's just got card slots and also some space for some cash in the middle if you want to but I just don't find myself reaching for this an awful lot I did go through a phase of using it but if you guys think you would like me to add it on my Depop and if anyone would be interested on buying it, I might list it. This is another one of those things that I got given from List. I know I was really lucky and spoiled by them. And this is a Gucci item. I have a few Gucci items. I don't have any Gucci bags, but I've got Gucci accessories. I really did want to go for the Mon Mont bags, but I never ended up going for it. And I love their box. Like, oh my God, I just love their box. I just, honestly, I, I think Gucci's like direction went in the perfect direction this is just the dust bag gorgeous gorgeous silk dust bag and this is what i got and it's a stunning gucci marmont style purse i think this retailed for like 500 pounds i'm not even joking like really expensive um it's just got the huge gg logo it is heavy because of the marmont ggs and then um i don't use this as my like everyday purse but I do keep it in my bag and I've just got extra cards in it like Zara home vouchers, my Harrods card um, and I have some cash and also some change but if you guys can see like there is so much room in here there's room for change I have cash lying about everywhere like I think if I put all my cash together I'd have like 60 odd pounds from these bags I'll show you guys the sort of things that I use and this is just not one of them I don't I don't find myself reaching for it that often. So again, if anyone is interested in this, then I might add it to my Depop. So let me know. I'm still in two minds of it because I do really love it, but I just don't find myself reaching for it all the time. I think I'm just not a big purse girl. Like, I think I wanted to be a purse girl, but I just, I use like really little catch-alls for my purses. I don't really find I use these as much, but this is another Saint Laurent piece. And um, I again got this from farfetch.com farfetch is really good they do so many deals i really need to start using louisa via roma because i know they do fantastic deals but i'm not really in the market for really expensive um handbags anymore i have much more important things i need to save for like my courses and stuff that i want to do but that's why i wanted to do this video because i don't think i'm going to be buying really expensive designer for a little while now saving for different things but um this like i said is from farfetch i just have the authenticity stuff in it and I actually think this is a man's wallet. Um, at the time, I was really into that Saint Laurent aesthetic. And I got this before they came out with their wallets and stuff that kind of went with the collection. But this is a wallet from, again, Saint Laurent, YSL, whatever. It's in that grained leather, which I was obsessed with. 
Again, I loved that whole like minimalist, just says Saint Laurent on it kind of vibe, which now I like a few more quirky things, but I still really love this. Again, I was into the silver hardware, so this is silver hardware. And I think this is a men's travel wallet, but I do love this. Like I have used this for holidays and stuff because it's so good to keep your travel stuff in it. And this is kind of what it looks like. This has is loads. This is another reason why I really wanted it because I have loads of cards. Loads and loads and loads of card holders there. This side I have some cards, like business cards and stuff um, that I probably need to throw away. And then I have post, um, what are these called? Oh, postage stamps. And the pocket just opens up. And this is just for your coins. Um, and I do have loads of money in there, so I do need to use this. Oh my god, don't tell me I've got the old pound coins. I need to use these up. And I love how sort of chic it is. Like it's it's quite big. That's the only thing. It's quite heavy. And I think that's sort of what puts me off using my wallet. This was extortionate. Thinking about it, like how much I spent on it was ridiculous. I think this retailed for about £400. I know. Um, but I would never sell this. I do really love it. And it's really like classic and chic. Then we come on to another Balenciaga piece and again this is one of those ones that I don't think I'll ever sell because it's got sentimental value to it. My ex-boyfriend actually bought this for me for Christmas I think last year and the reason I love it is because it matches my bag. It comes in like this was a complete surprise as well when I got it so it kind of has like even more meaning to it and stuff. Um, it, I first thought it was sunglasses when I first got it but it just comes in a white box um, and I don't really find myself using this that often, um, probably for the same reasons as the other things, but it's still really lovely and I, I think every any time I do use the other bag, I do try and whack this out. And he got me a Balenciaga wallet to match the burgundy bag. So at the time it was just really cute. And like I said, it's got sentimental value to it. It's buttery, but like look at this, buttery soft, just like the um, Balenciaga bags are. It's got so much space for wallets and stuff. And I think the reason I don't like to get it out too much is because I don't want to ruin it because of the color and stuff like that. And I love like the packaging and stuff it comes in. Um, but yeah, I, I would never, ever, ever sell that. What I've sort of gathered from this is that I'm not a big purses girl, but um, I don't think I'll ever be buying purses that often anymore unless I find something I love because I find I love things more like this. And this is another Saint Laurent piece. I know, I love YSL. I love their small leather goods especially. And this is a card holder from them. I have used this so much. I'll show you guys, I'm using something else at the moment um, because I'm lazy. But this is just a Saint Laurent little card holder. Again, the silver hardware and stuff. I think now if I was to get something, I'd get it in a color and I would probably get it in gold. But it just comes with some card um, compartments, which was just so handy. And what I loved about it was it also has a zipper. Again, if you're trying to get into your um, small leather goods or designer goods in general, these are really good pieces to buy because this was only like 100 pounds or so. Um, and you can just put your cash in there and it's just really cute. Then my last small leather good that I want to show you guys is this. And this is a little... Why sell key ring type thing because it does have a key ring um, on it and I just keep my keys and my car keys on it and this is my purse like I know I have all those purses and this is what I use like it's just really bad again I was gifted this from list I got to, cho to choose from their site some items and I chose this and again what I would say is if you are in the market for getting into design luxury these are good things to go for because again I don't think this could have been any more than the hundred pounds ish mark and I keep all my cards I know like literally showed you five purses and this is my purse and I keep things like my work my um I keep things like my fob to get into the flat and stuff the reason I use it is because otherwise it's a faff um otherwise I'd have to get my fob out it's just a bit like annoying so um yeah I know I'm being lazy but again I just think YSL is just a really good it's got good little accessories so guys, I know I've been here for ages, but I've wanted to do this uh, video for so long and I have like time to do it and I just really wanted to sit down and do it. If I showed you guys the mess that is here, you will all freak out. Please do help me out with content that you'd like to see. If you would like to see more designer, if you'd like to see more certain types of videos, get ready with me because I am really trying to get back into my YouTube. Like, you know, I love it. I miss it. I really, really, really do miss it. And um, I want to put out more content for you guys. So I hope you're all doing really well. Please subscribe and hit that notification button if you'd like to be notified when I make more super long videos that you can watch whilst you do your makeup, drink your tea, have your dinner. 
I love you guys lots. Take care of yourselves. And let me know as well, please, 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 if you got this far in the video, if you had to have one of these handbags, or if you had to choose one of these handbags, which one would you choose? I love you guys. Bye.